Hello everyone. Welcome to this tutorial on XAMPP installation on Linux. In this tutorial, we will learn how to install XAMPP on Linux, how to create and run a PHP file. To record this tutorial, I am using Ubuntu Linux OS 14.04, Firefox web browser and gedit text editor. To install XAMPP, you should have a working internet connection and admin access to your computer. You should also have basic knowledge of Linux commands. If not, for relevant tutorials, please visit our website. XAMPP is a free and open source web server package. XAMPP consists of Apache HTTP server, MySQL database, interpreters for scripts written in PHP and Perl. XAMPP is easy to install. It is available for GNU Linux, Mac, Windows and Solaris operating systems. Let's download XAMPP for Linux. Open the web browser on your machine. In the address bar, type apachefriends.org slash download.html and press enter. Scroll down the page. Here, XAMPP is available to download for all operating systems. Visit XAMPP for Linux section. You can see the recent version of XAMPP. My system is a 64-bit OS. So, under version PHP 5.5.19, I will select Download 64-bit. The download will start. I have already downloaded this file in my Downloads folder. So, I will skip downloading step. Now open the terminal. On the terminal, type the command cd space downloads and press enter. This will change the current working directory to downloads. Now type the command ls and press enter. This will display the contents of the downloads folder. Here is our XAMPP installation file. Let's give executable permission to the file so that we can run this file. Type chmod space plus x space file name and press enter. Now to run the file type sudo space dot slash file name and press enter. Enter the admin password if required. Setup wizard dialog box opens. Click on next button whenever required and follow the installation steps as shown. Uncheck learn more about Bitnami for Zam checkbox. Click on next. Once the installation done, uncheck launch Zam checkbox and click on finish. This installation will create LAMP folder in the systems opt folder. Let's go there and have a look. From the launcher on the left, click on files folder icon. On the left panel, under devices section, click on computer. You can see the system files. Double click on opt folder to open it. Here it is, the LAMP folder. Open this folder. Here we can see several subfolders. Locate the folder named htdocs. This is our web server Apache's root directory. We have to save our PHP code files 
inside this folder to run it. The Apache's root directory will be slash opt slash lamp slash htdocs or slash var slash www based on your installation process. To make htdocs folder writable, we have to change the permission. So, on the terminal, type sudo space chmod space 777 space hyphen capital R space slash opt slash lamp slash htdocs and press enter. Enter the admin password if required. Now let's check whether XAMPP is running or not. Open the web browser. In the address bar, type localhost and press enter. It shows message unable to connect. It seems XAMPP services are not running. To start the services, type on the terminal sudo space slash opt slash lamp slash lamp space start and press enter. Enter the admin password if required. This will start all the XAMPP services. Go back to the web browser and refresh the page. Here it is. The welcome screen of XAMPP. It will ask us to choose the default language. I will select English. XAMPP is running perfectly now. Let's write a sample PHP code and run it. In htdocs, let's create a folder named PHP Academy. In future, I will save all my PHP files in this folder. This is to ensure that my files don't get overwritten by someone else. Open the PHP Academy folder. Let us create a PHP file. Right click and select New Document and Empty Document. Name it as demo.php. Open the demo.php in gedit text editor. You can use any editor of your choice. Type less than question mark php enter echo space in double quote hello india semicolon enter question mark greater than to save the file press Ctrl and S keys simultaneously. Go back to the web browser. In the address bar, type localhost slash php academy and press enter. This will display the list of files inside the php academy folder. Here is our file demo.php. Click on it. Message Hello India is displayed. To stop XAMPP services, type on the terminal sudo space slash opt slash lamp slash lamp space stop and press enter. Enter the admin password if required. XAMPP services will stop running. Whenever you wish to run XAMPP again in future, Remember to start it first. Let us summarize. In this tutorial, we have learned how to install, start and stop XAMPP services. How to create and run a PHP file. This video summarizes the spoken tutorial project. If you do not have good bandwidth, you can download and watch it. The Spoken Tutorial Project team conducts workshops and gives certificates. 
For details, please write to us. Spoken Tutorial Project is funded by NMEICT, MHRD, Government of India. More information on this mission is available at the link shown. This is Kavita Kharad from IIT Bombay signing off. Thank you for joining.